Hi everyone. Our UiPath platform's built-in capabilities for IT automation enable us to automate all areas of the IT ecosystem, both cloud and on-prem, and they also empower us to address cybersecurity use cases and perform SOAR, security orchestration, automation, and response. Security departments today are overloaded with the management of alerts, vulnerabilities, SecOps tasks, and organizational level audits certification. Our platform can help, for example, with the end-to-end -end automation of cloud vulnerability management compliance, an important component for our SOC 2 certification. In this solution, the Azure Security Center recommendations are retrieved once per week, grouped by owner, severity type, and emailed to the owners for remediation. The state for each item is tracked in the orchestrator queue, uh, and um, if the deadline for an item is exceeded, it will be escalated to the SecOps uh, department. In case of an audit, our IT automation activities can retrieve data from your entire IT ecosystem. Uh, in this case, uh, the list of uh, resources, uh, owners, and user access plus roles. This helps facilitate ongoing audit processes, uh, for example, for ISO certifications, but it can also be used for continuous internal audits. Uh, speaking of access control, uh, our IT automation activities can also help uh, with uh, automating the access to uh, the access request to different uh, resources, for instance, applications or a server uh, that come from different uh, areas. Uh, maybe a user uh, adds this request to a chatbot or uh, via a self-service portal, or maybe with uh, a ticket to IT help desk. This request uh, is um, added to an orchestrator queue from where it's retrieved by a robot uh, that reads its content and based on uh, the data in it, it will start the appropriate workflow. For instance, for access request, it could run a workflow that uh, adds a security rule, for instance, in an Azure NSG to uh, allow the access to that server for a given amount of time. Or in the case of uh, other user management, uh, high volume tasks like uh, password reset or lock unlock, it would trigger that workflow and maybe run in uh, the background unattended. Uh, the workflow for granting access to a server that comes from a standard end user can also contain attended steps. Maybe somebody from the IT department uh, wants to approve uh, the, the operation first before the workflow is executed and also customize the number of hours or maybe even minutes that ac access is granted for. The workflow uh, will be uh, persisted for that amount of time and afterward it uh, resumes and it can also revoke the user's access to the resource. Uh, when talking about uh, access control, we also would like to automate the processing of uh, Azure brute force attacks that are incoming and targeting public facing uh, virtual machines. With the workflows from this solution, we are leveraging the security center's capabilities of uh, identifying via its detection mechanisms these type of attacks and uh, exposing them to us in uh, alerts uh, in the security center views. We have workflows and activities that um, empower us to get the information from these alerts we are adding them as queue items for later processing. And once a day, you can run a workflow or a job that uh, basically uh, for each queue item, it looks uh, what resource was attacked uh, and from what IP. And then the robot proceeds to uh, block that attacker IP in all the NSGs of uh, the attacked VM. If the VM maybe they, it doesn't have a, an NSG, the robot can also create one uh, for it before blocking the IP. After the processing is done, uh, the robot also can uh, resolve tickets in service desk in Jira maybe or uh, other ticketing systems. We are running this internally at UiPath and it has processed uh, already over 10,000 attacks. Uh, the solutions uh, components uh, are very easy to understand, transparent, 
This one is a workflow that creates NSGs for VMs that don't already have one, uh, only if the VM has uh, public facing IPs. Uh, this workflow retrieves for us uh, all the alerts from the security centers and filters out only the brute force uh, attacks related ones. And it adds them as uh, queue items in our orchestrator. Uh, the process alerts workflow will dismiss an security Azure Security Center alert if uh, we press process it successfully. And we have the on-demand block IP uh, workflow that uh, is used to add a security rule in the NSGs of attacked VMs. And it will also be started uh, manually. Maybe you want to explicitly create a rule to deny access to a certain IP to a certain server or yeah, the reverse to grant it maybe. As a demo, I've prepared a workflow that reads the Azure connection uh, credentials uh, from uh, our orchestrator assets and what it, what it will do, it will connect to Azure. Uh, and for this uh, particular VM that I've specified with uh, the VM name in argument, it will add security, uh, security rule in all the NSGs of this VM uh, where the IP the, that I want to block, the attacker IP, is not already blocked. And it will also create for it automatically the minimum priority for, uh, for the rule so that it takes precedence over all the others. So if the attacker IP uh, has a value, I'm getting the Azure VM. I'm getting all the NSGs for this particular VM and then for all, all uh, for each uh, NSG, I'm getting the security list, looking if the IP is not already blocked. And uh, if it is not, I'm creating a security rule for it with the dynamically computed uh, priority. Uh, maybe, I don't know, the minimum value 100 is already taken. Uh, I'm proceeding to 101 and so forth. So I'm tr trying to get the minimum uh, priority value for the security rule. The security rule is really easy to define. You have here the action parameter, allow deny, the direction, the priority, protocol. So very easy to configure a security rule. Now let us run this. So I have my attacked VM. If we go to networking, Oh, it, it has already blocked it. Created by UiPath robot to block attacker IP 1234. And if I would run the same workflow again, it should tell me that the IP is already blocked in that NSG for the specified VM. See, attacker IP 1234 is already part of a security rule. All right. And again, this type of workflow can be easily adapted to maybe grant access to, uh, to a user that uh, requests it. All the workflows uh, from our uh, IT automation initiative and also from the security orchestration one are available for download uh, on our Connect marketplace. And uh, they're all, they have been also validated by uh, the Microsoft Azure Marketplace and the Microsoft App Source uh, Marketplace technical teams, and they're also published uh, there. So it's really easy to get started. They're available for free, just like the IT automation activities, and uh, yeah, very easy to understand and uh, reuse. Thank you.